So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can edit Reels in DaVinci Resolve. Now, for this tutorial, you need to download some images. So I have this image of a man and four different watches. And you will find a link in the description where you can download these images for free. So just go ahead, download these and import them in DaVinci Resolve and you can follow along with this tutorial. Now, once you do that, just right click over here and go over to create new timeline. And unselect the use project settings, go over to format and then click on use vertical resolution and hit create. Now you can drag in a fusion composition and let's extend this to 10 seconds like this. And now we can head over to the fusion composition, right click and open in fusion page. Add this background, connect the background to the media out. And now let's go over to the assets folder where we have this image of a man with a watch. So just import that over here and just connect it with the background. So make sure that you select your media in, which is the image that we have and click on this transform. Now, while you have your transform selected, make sure you go over to 50 frames right here and create a keyframe at center, size and angle. Now go over at 20 frames and you can change the angle to minus 90 and you can move this right here in the center and also increase the size like this. So something like this. And if you play this now, this is how it will look. But if you go over to spline, you can select all these keyframes and click on zoom to fit. And from here, you can select all these keyframes and hit S on the keyboard. And this will give you a nice animation. So if you play this, this is how it looks. Now go back to the main timeline and over here, right where we started this animation at 20 frames, we're going to zoom in and we're going to start adding these images of different watches. So let's start with this one over here and you can just select this tool, cut tool. You can also press B to select this and you can just make a cut right here at 20 or let's say five, you can just go over and keep this at five. And let's bring in the next one, also five. So let's cut this. B tool to cut and A to get back to the selection mode. And we're going to do the same thing for this one. So 15 over here, delete, delete this. And finally, this one, and this will end at 20. All right, so if you play this, this is basically the kind of animation that will appear. But so now let's go ahead and adjust the position of these watches. So you can just select the first one and change the zoom like this. And let's just zoom in as well from here. And let's change the rotation angle like this position. So basically, we're just positioning right where the watch is on the wrist like this and now I'll also go over to cropping and change the softness all the way to minus 100 and you can change the crop top or crop bottom to reduce this from here so that this looks much more blended let's also change the position a little bit like this and something like this all right now, of course, this is not going to be perfect, but since this is a quick animation, so it won't matter if you do it precisely. So just follow along and I'm just quickly now going to make all these changes. So you can, you can just follow along. All right, so now that we have done this we also need to make some more changes and for this we need to add an adjustment layer now over here i'm just going to press b cut it right here where this ends and just delete this footage from here now go over to adjustment clip and also click on open fx so now just add this zoom blur over at the adjustment clip and if you increase this you will see this is how it looks so if we zoom out a little bit 
and change the amount all the way to one and right where this ends let's change this to zero so if you play this right so we need to make sure that you create a keyframe so i'm just going to create a keyframe at zero right here at the end and at the start i'm just going to increase this to one so if you play this this is how it looks once we get here once we get at two what we can do is we can start to change the position from this side as well so or let's just go over at three and make sure you have this fusion composition selected and create a keyframe at zoom position and let's go over at four and zoom in change the position x and y so somewhere around here and if you play this right now this is how it will look but if you click on over here where this is the keyframe for this fusion composition you can just click on this one this keyframe at the end and just select this and this keyframe at the beginning and select this and if you play this you will get a smooth transition so something like this all right so over here we're going to add another fusion composition so add four let's go over to effects add in a fusion composition extend it to the end and right click and go over to the fusion page now over here i'm going to add a text connect the text with the media out and let's type in collection and the font that i'm using is going to be montserrat and let's change this to 0 0.2 change this to black now i'm going to add in another text and connect the text with this text one now over here i'm just going to first of all control c over at text one and then right click and then paste settings so we will get the same settings but this time i'm going to change this to watch let's move this up and let's also change the size to 0 0.35 something like this and now let's move both of these slightly up upwards like this and for the text 2 i'm going to change the color to red and now make sure you select merge one and then press Control space and search for glow now you can use soft glow for this one so just add in a soft glow and over here i'm just going to change the glow size like this so somewhere around 90 and the gain at so 1.1 works fine and now let's start animating this so at 20 just go over to text one and go over at right on and create a keyframe and then at zero you can just change this to zero and now go over to text 2 and go over at 25 frames go over at layout and create a keyframe at center then at 5 just change this all the way up and this is how it will look but go over to spline and make sure you only select this displacement for text 2 and select all keyframes and hit s on the keyboard but this time select this keyframe move this right here select this keyframe move this right here and if you play this now this is how it will look and if you go over here you will see that this is how it looks now for the image in the background let's also do some animation so right here you saw that we had the zoom so let's go all the way to the end and just increase the zoom and also move this position out so something like this And now we need to add in our watches so you can create another fusion composition for this make sure you extend it all the way to the end or what you can do is just create another fusion composition at five that's up to you right click go over to fusion page add in this background connect the background to the media out and now we can add in our images so i'm just going to add in these images one by one like this and select your background and add in 
these merge nodes four times. Now let's start with the first one. Click on merge one and you can now zoom in and change the angle somewhere around here and move this right here. Now connect the media in two. For this image, click on merge two. And now you can change the angle for this one as well. Let's change this right here. For the third one, let's increase the size for this one as well. And keep the angle as it is. And for the fourth one, let's just move this right here. And let me also just change the position for this one and for this one. And also for the first one, somewhere around here. So, so that they are close together. And if you go back, you will be able to see that we are not able to see the compositions underneath. That is because we also need to change the alpha for this background to zero. So if you go back here, you will see we have these watches right here. Now let's go back and over here at 20 frames, let's start the animation for each of these. So create a keyframe at center and do the same thing for all of these, all these merge nodes. And now let's go over at zero and start the animation. So this will appear from here. Merge two will appear from here. This one will appear from the bottom. And this one will also appear from the bottom. So if you play this, this is how it looks. But you need to go over to spline and make sure you select all these merge nodes. Zoom to fit, click on zoom to fit, and then select your keyframes and hit S, the keyboard. So this is how it will look. Now you can go back and see how this looks. But one final thing I want to do here is that make sure you have your merge four selected and add in this color corrector. Now you can change the color for this, all these images to red. And that is because it matches with the text color that we have over here. Now let's go back. Make sure you have your color corrector selected and press control space. Search for soft glow once again. So make sure you only add it one time. Now, while you have this selected, you can just increase the glow size to, let's say, 50. And you can change the gain to, let's say, 1. Now, right click over at bend, go over to modify width and select shape. Now, go over to the modifiers tab. And over here, you can change the smoothness to 3. So let's play and see how this looks. So you will see that we get this glow coming in. So now if you go back to the main timeline and play this, this is how it will look. Now one final step that we need to do here is to add another adjustment layer right at the top of this fusion composition that we had for the watches and go over to the start, the beginning, create a keyframe at zoom, position and rotation angle. Now go over all the way to the end, change the rotation angle a little bit. So let's say 4.5, increase the zoom in and change the position as well. So if you play this, you will see that this is the kind of animation that we will get. So this was it for this video. I hope you found this video useful and I'll see you in the next one.